All right, I'm going to log in and log out. Log out and log in. I'm probably not going to be able to connect because the server is going to be down. But let's check it out. So we've got a new team of the week without Ronaldo and Messi. Pain. Okay, now let's check out SBCs because it is St. Patrick's Day today. It is St. Patrick's Day today, and I would expect that we would get some St. Patrick's themed content content today. Uh, so far, I don't see anything. Uh, um, okay, I don't think we have anything in the SBC section today, boys. From what I can see, there's nothing in the SBC section. We've got an Aaron McGeady, um Silver Stars Challenge. Which looks like a crazy silver, although I would have loved him to be a uh, gold type player. But it's a silver. Uh, I think that's probably it for the objectives today. I could check out the rest. So this got fixed to Weekend League Plus. Same requirements as for Team of the Week 25. Um, milestones, anything here that's new? Oh, we got St. Patrick's Day Squad Foundations. Okay, here we go. So we did, we did get some content today. So we've got St. Patrick's Day Squad Foundation. So scored 10 goals using Republic of Ireland players in the foot friendly. A six assist, six goals. Four Republic of Ireland players scored 10 goals. Uh played 14 matches with four players and win eight. So eight out of 14. So if you win eight out of 14, let's go ahead and check check out these players real quick. So we win eight out of 14 today. Uh you get, let's see. Let's check out these players in game. Okay, so, uh, wait, what is this Matt Doherty card? What is this? Wait, what is this? Is this card out yet? Th this card was not in the SBC section today. Okay, we've got a Matt Doherty card in the SBC section, which I'd assume is coming out today. I, I don't even know, dude. We've got a Premier League right back. I, I don't know what this is, dude. Is this an SBC? Is this like an objective? Does anybody know in this game where this card is located? Let's see. It says a moment. So it's a player moments. It's going to be probably an SBC. So it's a player moments, I believe. It's a player moments card. Um, We have no idea what this is looking like. He actually looks like an insane center mid. Or even... This card looks crazy, to be honest. I don't know how much this card is going to be. It's another right back. But he does have some pretty crazy stats. He's high, medium, 3-4. Agility balance is a little low, but his stamina is 98. His finishing is 86. His shot power is 86. His attack positioning is 87. His 84 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. I mean, I don't know what the price of this card is going to be, but it, it looks like a good card. It doesn't look like a bad card at all. Looks like a really good center back. It's solid fullback and a good center mid. Any of those positions I think would work really well for this card. I guess mystery uh, Doherty though. And a strong link to um, Roy Keane, uh, Zaha, uh, Eric Bailly. So you've got some nice links to offer there. Again, we don't really know when that's going to come out. But okay, let's take a look. So this was the group reward. Uh, this dude is three star, three star. Three-star, three-star. Is he in the Premier League? He's in the Premier League. So for squad building, that's kind of okay, I suppose. Um, okay, so we've got 90 acceleration. We've got no traits. 90 agility. Uh, 89 balance. I don't know, man. 43 long passing chat. What do we think about that, man? I don't know about that, bro. I'm not so sure about 43 long passing. That could, uh, that could cause you to break many controllers, I would suppose. Uh, and medium low. So this one is a pass for me. It's a fun card, but it's a pass for me. Uh, we've got Jimi Hendrix. Medium high, six feet tall in the Premier League. Three star, three star. This looks like a nice card. This does not look like a bad CDM. 90 stamina, 83 strength. It, look, it's generic, but it's fun. And this one looks this this one looks more usable than the group reward. 89 short passing. 88 shot power, uh, 81 long shots. This card looks okay. Maybe a little bit slow. Maybe a little bit slow. And then we've got Thorgan Hazard. 
high, medium, four star, four star in the League Two EFL. Uh, 89 agility, 86 balance, 85 ball control, 77 reactions, uh, 85 dribbling, 82 shot power, 80, 76 attack positioning. Oh, man. Th these cards. Oh, finesse shot tree. Hello there, my good friend. Okay, so, I mean, look, these cards all look pretty generic, man. I mean, this guy, this guy, you know, it does he look Ryan Kent esque with the 5'7, probably lean body type? Maybe. Maybe you get some Ryan Kent sentimental value there for all you little rats. Um, but. I don't know, man. These cards are a little underwhelming. Let's see what um. Let's see what McGeady's looking like. Where's McGeady spin? If they yo, this guy better have five star skills. They take his skills away. No, five star skills. Bang. Okay, five star skills. Ninety eight agility. Ninety eight agility. Eighty four short passing. So like in my in my ideal situation today, EA would have released McGeady as like a ninety rated dude, and we had some crazy SBC. That would have been sick. I think this is cool. This is a crazy silver card. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, this is really one of, for the, this is a collector's item for the silver, but this could, this, this card looks really fun. This card looks really fun, man. If you guys are into the silver stuff, you know, that this card looks, uh, this card looks pretty good, but the, these are, these, these are disappointing for me today, man. Uh, you know, the, the, these are disappointing, man. These three cards. I don't think they're in, I don't think they're anything crazy. I mean, I think, I think the way that this is the way I see it, like, Everybody right now uses certain types of players. There's probably 30 to 40 players that people rotate this year in the majority of squads, right? The way that EA should be doing this is that if we have a St. Patrick's Day, yes, it's for fun. But at the same time, I feel like they should really give us some crazy cards in these off leagues or harder to link players. Like, really crazy cards so that you have to sit there and think, like, wait a second, man. Like, I really think I might want to use this guy, right? Because he might replace this player in my team, right? So, like, that's the one thing that I think that they should be thinking about a little bit more, right? It's like, how do we make this card more usable, you know, than like a, I don't know, man, like a Joao Felix player of the month or just, you know, I know it's kind of fake in that regard because those players are obviously way better than these players in real life, but I think it makes it fun in FIFA if this guy, you know, has some crazy skill, weak foot and higher pace. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just these cards are, you know, I don't, we don't really know what to do with them is the problem. Um... So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that Matt Doherty card. I mean, I'm assuming that was supposed to be released via SBC today. I, I guess. I don't see it. Maybe it's in a league SBC, but I, no, it, it's a moment, so it should be there. And then we've got Team of the Week where, you know, from early looks, we don't we don't actually have a Ronaldo or a Messi today, which is... I just... I, I, do, I wonder if it's because they put in the player picks for the weekend league, and it's like, because of that, do we not get Ronaldo and Messi? Because people they don't want people getting Ronaldo and Messi red. I don't know. We don't have... Ronaldo Messi in the team of the week. So that was disappointing. Messi had two goals and an assist, I think, and Ronaldo had three. But they already have... Well, Messi has two specials. Ronaldo has three. Three? Ronaldo has three informs. Um, So let's take a look at his team of the week. Veghorst. Jota got a card. So anybody who's a once to watch Diogo Jota owner, like myself, we're getting another upgrade, which is pretty. This guy's actually getting a lot more usable by the minute. Solid looking card. Um. Wait, where is Benzema? Where's Benzema? Wait, no Benzema, Ronaldo, or Messi. I mean, I, I at this point, I, I you know what 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 do we say? What do we have to say? Where is Benzema, dude? Okay, anyways, uh, Lautaro Martinez is seven hundred k. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, we've got Politano there, 84 rated, uh, four star, four star. Okay, we've got Kevin De Bruyne. I mean KGB. You know I'm a big fan. I like this guy. That that's not that's a nice red, I guess. Not on the market. Good luck. You can find him with R9 in the Gulag. Uh, we've got Thomas Muller. How does this card compare to his moments? That's what I'm wondering. Wonder how that card. I think he's slower, right? Kieran Tierney. Oh, you know what? That's actually a very nice card. That's a very nice card. Kieran Tierney, that's a very nice that's a very nice card if you get that red this week. Very nice card. It's De Bruyne? Yeah, KGB, right? Yeah, that's a nice card. I like this card. That's a good card. Okay, that that's a W for me. I like Jota, I like I like De Bruyne, I like Tierney. Lautaro, I'm not so sure about. We're going to have to see how that guy is. Oh! Whoa. Waman. We've got an informed Waman in the team of the week. Wow. 
90 finishing, 90 attack positioning. I, I have this guy's silver card. He is incredible. He is literally incredible. Does anybody know how big this boost is? By the way, if you're watching this, you guys should go on YouTube and watch this guy's highlights from the weekend. Oh my God. This man destroyed this weekend. What a performance he had, bro. Oh my gosh, dude. Craziest hat trick, dude. Crazy game. Um, all right, check out this guy. Yeah, he looks solid. He's gonna be really affordable. Wait, can I? I need this. I need to see. Hold on, I'm gonna go back to the team league, but I, I really need to see real quick uh, how much crazier this card is than his silver card. Is it nuts? Oh wow! Plus four acceleration, plus five attack positioning, plus five finishing, plus four shot power, plus five agility, plus four balance. Plus five strength. Wow, this card is really good. Dude, this card is already really good. I've used the man a lot. He's really solid. This guy looks like a weekend league warrior super sub, boys. No dynamic though, unfortunately. But, but this guy looks really good. This is basically Ryan Kent without the weak foot. You guys think so? Chai, you think so? I sweated my ass off for Elite because of Inform Ronaldo. Dude, that's why they should that's why you should know what you're playing for. That's what's annoying. That's why we should get the team of the week on Wednesday. You should get foot champs. Then you, you play the amount of foot champs for that current team of the week. And then you get your rewards on Sunday night or Monday. That would be so ideal. But it's the uncertainty that kills you. All right. So that card looks cool. Did we get uh, UCL marquee matchups today? Chat, did we get UCL marquee matchups today? Or no? Because we've got the UCL on today. We usually get those, right? No, we didn't get UCL marking matchups. Damn, bro. What is going on with EA today? And yes, we do have drops enabled right now for FGS tokens. So if you want to do that, boys, you just... I don't know what you do, but you just be here. All right, so we don't have UCL marking matchups. Well, Vegan, thanks for the prime sub. Um, So yeah, we've got a mystery... We've got a mystery Doherty. We've got a cheeky Aaron McGeady. And we've got a... Chat, what do you guys think for the team of the league? Is it fair to say this team of the league is subpar? Subpar? I don't know. I feel like it's subpar this team of the week. This is a cool card. He's still really weak, though. I've used Navas. He's good this year. I think it's subpar. It's okay. It's not great. I don't know. It's okay. I think it's subpar, and it's not great because we know what it could have been. We could have had... Imagine Imagine you have weekend league player picks this weekend, and you have Ronaldo, Messi, La, like De Bruyne, Lautaro, Jota, our man right here, M Messi. Oh, man, dude. Tierney, like, this would be crazy. But, it, again, probably too crazy, and that's what EA don't want. I guess. But yeah, no Ronaldo, man. I can't believe there's no Benzema, bro. That's that's the that's the most surprising part to me, dude. No Benzema, man. That part shocks me, to be honest. And then, no, we'll get what-if upgrades tonight. So uh, there's going to be a lot of what-if upgrades tonight. Let me see on... Um, let me see on Twitter real quick what we have for the what-if upgrades. There's a bunch tonight. I'm pretty sure. What if... Oh. Well, uh, interesting photo just popped up when I searched what-if on Twitter. We don't need to share that with the live stream. Uh, but I think I think we're getting upgrades for Sancho tonight. Guys, can you tell me who we're getting upgrades for, man? Sancho, Caputo, who was an objective last week. Um, Odegaard's going to get one. Yuri's going to get one. Uh, and Pereira's going to get one. Okay, so we've got some upgrades happening tonight. So that's cool. I mean, but I don't know, I don't know when that's going to be. I think that's going to be probably... For some reason, they like to do this stuff when the people in Europe go to sleep. I don't know why. They like to do this at like, well, you guys don't go to sleep, but I don't know. They like to do this at like midnight UK time, always. It's weird, man. They do it at that time. They always update stuff at that time. It's very odd. But yeah. So I guess those will come out later today. And I guess that's it, boys, right? And then Road to the Final Upgrades will be this weekend. So that will be this weekend, usually. Usually. 